We're well into week three of the jump. Um, the technical training is going well. We're focusing on parallel slalom because the parallel slalom event is coming up very soon. The slopes in Kutai are brilliant. Um, Stu and Spence from Soul Sports have just done an incredible job on the piste area preparing it. It's going to be interesting technically that who gets into the line of the course. There's obviously two different types of people, the thinkers and the chargers, people that are charging at it. So we're going to be looking at people's different skill sets today and trying to give them a few pointers in balancing that out and trying to get both sides of the equation working. Uh, we'll show you a demo because today we're going to try and get you guys a little bit closer to the gates. Not close as in turning at them, but close as in when you've made your turn above them, shaving the gate with your shoulder. Okay? It's all good? So when I go across here now, just coming out of the gate, I'm on the right leg. I'm on left leg now. Right leg now. It's not bad, is it? Oh, oh my god. Man, that was insane. Leg. Right leg, left leg, early. Good. So like now you'd start rolling or after that, the blue Just there, eye. just there, start yeah. to roll now. Today, what I worked on was my parallel skiing, and I started out um, going too far out, not keeping my legs together. And Warren has this really good thing where he makes you like just remember to move your hips in and out. And once I started doing that, I started having really good runs, so I was pretty happy by the end. Of it. Yeah, confident, ready for. Confident racing. now. I wasn't confident at the start, but now I feel confident. I actually, the last time we did slalom, I had a temper tantrum. You'll probably remember that. And uh, and this time, I felt I feel really happy. So I'm going home happy today. The jump in the course. You know where your line is. Get yeah, super early. As soon as you're underneath that red, yeah, it starts to turn for the blue. Okay. Super early. Cool. Where are you going, mate? That's the fastest so far, I'd say. Uh, so yeah, obviously focusing on, on kind of keeping uh, pressure through the outside leg. And uh, I in particular am focusing on keeping my arms forward uh, just for that center of gravity to be nice on the, on the front of your skis to get as big a carve as possible. And uh, yeah, ultimately just get used to the track. So parallel slalom, um, just on my third run. One, go for it, Lewis. Left leg down. Each one is feeling better. Um, I just got to get on my outside foot more, push that more in. Um, drive your arms yeah. forward. Drive my arms forward. <laughs> uh, and just get through those gates as quick as possible, really. But I'm just trying to recap on everything that I've learned and just trying to incorporate that into, into all the training that, uh, that I'm doing right now. Oh, yeah, I haven't got oh, any of yours on film. Do you have the next one? Oh, you me? Yeah. yeah. I would, that one was amazing. On your left ski, yeah. driving it straight down into the ground. Go for it, go. See it, go. Left leg, right leg. Good. Really coming together. Nice, Gareth. You were normally turning at the blue gate. Yeah. And what you did then is you got off onto your new right leg and pressed on it and you got around. But you made the line of the course, mate. It, it should have made it feel easier. Or it should it have did, made it feel no, easier. I felt more comfortable and, and confident there, more stable. Yeah. Uh, I know what, with it being a race, I don't know whether I'm just thinking I need to get to that uh, first cone quicker yeah. and then get to turn. But you don't have to, do you? No, no, no. If you, if you, as long as you just come round and. Uh, Get the timing right. The timing, and look, I've said to you from day one. If yeah. I if I mess up my first turn, then you know my my run will go to pot. Yeah. And if I can do it, I, I know I can, you can, can do it. You know, speed. You've got some fast times today, mate. I mean, I think technically as well, you're you're charging at it. 
Um, but now, the game now for the next couple of sessions is going to be the right leg early for your oh. blue gate. Yeah, totally. And that would be that would be the big difference on race day. It's good work, mate. Cheers, Cheers pal. Yeah. Thank you very much, mate. Nice work. Let's crack on. Nice, Robbie. Much faster. I want you to turn about three metres ahead of us, not even that, two and a half. Get up on that left leg, Thank you. pressure that left ski in the ground. I forgot about a ski. <laughs> You'll get it, mate. You'll get this back. Remember the legs, pistons, yeah. up. driving that pressure down onto the ski. Um, left leg. Good, Jay. She's got it. See, mate? But I think for me, because I've only been skiing for eight weeks, <laughs> eight weeks, yeah. there's been so much to take in, yeah. and it's just adding those layers. Yeah. And, and there's certain things that click in quicker than others. Yeah. And uh, the great thing is we've got a platform yeah. to build on. Yeah, yeah. So if we can just, if I can get that right, I did it on a, a couple of times there, yeah. but it's consistently getting it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then making sure I get into the turns early. Yeah. And if I can do that, and I'll hit the next one earlier, and um, hopefully get a faster, faster time. Well, you, today you've changed your time in the slalom by two seconds. On, on, on a course with only sort of 12, 13 gates, that's pretty good going. So um, let's have a look in the line now. We're going to get you on a video run and we'll give you some feedback yeah. after. Yeah. Okay, mate? Smashed it. Good leg. Right leg. Left leg. Right leg. Excellent, Jace. Yeah. Left leg, good, right leg, left. You recovered it well. Yeah, hi, Eddie. Can we get the nice uh, brace to the top? So the guys have done really well over this training session. They've increased their speeds a lot. They've got a lot closer to the gates now. Uh, and their timing, which is the key thing, as you can see by the course we've got set here, they've been learning how to get pressure on the ski a lot earlier so they can stay into the line of the course. The course has been going a lot faster towards the end, so they need to be able to get to it early enough that they can glide. But if they get there late, they haven't been able to find that. The last half of the session today, they've really stepped it up, got early and managed to get speed on the last part. So we're really happy with the training. Hopefully they'll be ready for the course and the race night soon.